Hey there, YouTube Stealth Tiger with a brand new video. Today I have for you a brand new highlight reel. And I'm um, sorry I didn't post this yesterday. I forgot to, but I had the whole thing made. So here we go. We're going to get right into it. We're starting off with a loop clip here. This was when his uh, trait just came out, and I wanted to try it. So um, it's awesome. I like it. I went on a 41 kill streak, I think is what it was. And uh, it was awesome. So I'll be back in a minute with the next clip. All right, so now that that's done, we're uh, in a Heroes vs. Villains match here. You can see here I killed Chewbacca, and then after a minute, so Luke's the last one left, and I went around running around for a couple minutes, and that's where things get awesome when I go take on Luke. You can see here um, Luke jumps up, and I shoot him out of the air just randomly. I didn't even, I was just firing, and I got him, so that was pretty cool. Um, and then after this... We have up next a Princess Leia clip, and this one's along the lines of the same of the last one. Um, it's a different game, same map, um, obviously, because I'm now a hero instead of a villain. But um, So I go up here, and you, there's a stormtrooper jetpacking across the map, and I let him just perfectly right there with the trooper bane. And it was awesome. You can actually hear me on the mic freaking out in the background. But uh, it was awesome. So then up next here we have a streak with the DT-29. Um, this was pretty fun. I got a ton of kills in Walker Assault, um, just shooting people. And I shot a kid off his jetpack, so that was worth it. You can probably hear me freaking out at that point as well. Um, but you can see here, I just wrecked these three guys, killed another dude with an orbital strike at the same time. Um, that was pretty nice. Uh, and then I run back this way. 
There's a bunch of rebels around here somewhere. I didn't really know where they were. So I jump up here. There's a rebel right there. I missed like almost every shot, but I managed to get him with the last one. So that was nice. Um, this guy tries to get away with the jetpack, and I let him just right again. And then he ragdolled in the opposite direction, which I don't understand how that works. But um, that was pretty cool. Uh, and then I run over this way. There's another rebel trying to shoot people. I'm just like, nah, you're, you're going back today. So I got him. Um, I run over this way. And uh, there's some more dudes down there. I shoot this one guy right here. And then uh, the thing that astonishes me is I got way more than six kills here. But I didn't get to master Berserker status. So I'm not sure how that works. And then me and this guy kill each other at the same time. So, um, oh, and here we go. My magical Rodian strikes for the third time. I jump up this way, run over top of a TIE fighter without dying. It's so crazy. I'm I'm actually surprised that it actually worked. No. Um, Dude, and I up next here we where, have um, some Battle Station it, gameplay. Can... Um, so there's going to be two clips like this. This one's kind of the crappier version of the two. Pretty much in this one I played the role of Porkins while the other guy was going down the trench. I basically just got shot for him so that he wouldn't get shot, and we ended up winning, which was nice, um, so that was pretty cool, I killed a couple guys beforehand though, so that's going to show you that, like these, and my uh, friend Skater Boy's right there, um, he pretty much destroyed them, I did a little bit of damage to one of them I think, but he destroyed those two TIE Fighters, um, and then we rolled down this way, I destroyed some more guys, um, and then the, uh, the Trench Run guy, see this is the reason, this is why people should play to actually defend the trench run guys instead of just um, going for kills because it actually helps. It really, really does. Um, and it allows you to win, which and it, even if you just have one person, it, it really helps. Like I just sat behind him taking shots and put on my shield and I was like, okay, let's go. And we won. I delayed the TIE fighter behind us long enough. So he actually died right at the end, but he made it to the checkpoint before he died. So it's kind of crazy like that um, you can see right here he gets shot up quite a bit and I was like oh man he should have taken that vehicle pickup but he didn't so I took it put on my shield took a bunch of shots and uh, there you go he's at the last uplink there or the last checkpoint he converts it then gets then gets blown up and uh, we won the round so that was nice um, up next I have an even better version of that because that was kind of crappy I mean I just got shot a couple times pretty much just porkins out right there but this one is great there were just TIE fighters flying in behind him, but they kept flying in front, flying down into the trench in front of me. So I just kept shooting down TIE fighters like crazy right here. It was awesome. I mean, it was just great. They just kept flying into my line of fire, and it was it was really nice. Um, and I took down a ton of TIE fighters that were coming after this guy in the trench here. Um, this guy killed himself, which was nice on the wall. Um, so then I shot this guy right here, and I think a couple more come down, and I shoot them, and then I end up getting killed myself. Um, because then uh, Vader's TIE Advanced comes after him, and I, and I couldn't take him down, so I got shot right here, actually. Um, and it was awesome. I enjoyed that. Um, we ended up winning that round, too, so way to go. Up next here, we have a Boba Fett clip. Um, the other team was using Power Shot Glitch Lando, which if you don't know about it, DICE really needs to fix that. It's totally broken. It like Heroes vs. Villains is unplayable now because you always have someone that just chooses Lando and does that. Um, but you can see Lando disrupted me right here and then power shotted me a couple times. I was not in good shape after that. Um, I picked up a hero health and then came back. He died. I think he he might have killed himself. I don't know. He died somehow. I came back, shot Luke with this thing. It didn't really do... It didn't hit him, but uh, it hit Jin instead. So then I flamethrowered him, got him, lost like a ton of health somehow. Uh, over that so I just ran back got the other hero health that was on the map um, and came back after Jin killed this random rebel right there um, started shooting Jin she, she ran for me for a little bit it took me a while to get to her actually um, she was just like running around like a little grasshopper I guess or something I don't know I couldn't catch her so I was like whatever um, I came up here shot another rebel with a wrist rocket and then was finally able to kill her and that made it a great round. Boba with that 200 health from both hero pickups, so that was nice. Um, up next here we have a Leia clip, and this is um, an instance of Power Shot Lando. Um, Power Shot Lando comes up and kills everyone pretty much right away, um, and then I just go up, and Krennic has like 20 health, I kill Krennic with a Trooper Bane, and Boba Fett has like one shot left, and I go up, and you're gonna have to excuse my inaccuracy, I don't use the E11 at all, I hate it actually, it's my least favorite gun, but 
Um, I missed Boba a whole bunch, and then finally I'm able to one-shot him with it at the end. It's like, they really need to fix Power Shot Lando, but I wasn't complaining in this case because, um, obviously, he was on my team. So, I mean, but seriously, they really need to fix it. It's just so annoying. You have one person that always picks him and then just Power Shots the entire round, and you're like, guy. You're really annoying. Um, so for the final clip of the day, this one's actually really cool. We have em It's submitted by Emperor Palpatine. Link's in the description. Go check it out. Um, it's really cool. Uh, his channel, I think it's pretty cool. So here we go. He's an honor guard, and he's going on a total kill streak. You can see here he, double he already killed one guy. He double kills those guys with a smart rocket. Comes back up. You see someone running in. He shoots him. The other guy continues to come at him again. Shoots that guy. And then a third guy comes up. He headshots him right away, which was awesome. Um, and then in a second here, I think he comes back. There's someone back there. He smart rockets another. Oh, no, nope, nope. He just kills that guy. Um, wrecked him. And then he gets hit by an ion grenade. Who the hell throws ion grenades at people? It's a real question. He smart rockets this guy. Um, and then actually I got killed by an ion grenade today that was thrown at me by some dude. Now that I think about it that's besides the point. Anyway, he's running around here. He takes quite a bit of damage, and he, most of his streak happens when he's at 10 health. Imagine that. So he kills this guy right here, turns the corner again. There's another guy running up, kills him, kills his friend with a smart rocket. I mean, this guy is just absolutely cleaning up as an honor guard right now. He runs back this way, kind of messes around a little bit. This takes this segment's a little long. Um, there's not really anything going on here. And then um, after a minute here, he go yeah, right here he ends up going down to about 10 health. Um, and then Boba Fett and all his cohorts walk in, and he triple kills with a smart rocket, kills that guy, kills Boba Fett, <laughs> kills another guy, kills another one right there. And then he's on a 2,500 point streak right there, runs back up this way, waits for more troopers to come up, ends up finishing off two more troopers and before he ends up getting killed. What a streak. That was awesome. So um, thanks for watching. This is Stealth Taco signing off.